Hi everyone, I'm going to talk you through how I painted these cats. Well, how I'm going to paint some cats. And um, this was painted live. I often pop on live and do a painting now and then. Uh, this was done, oh, was it last year? Something like that. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? Anyway, I'm doing two canvases here, uh, which will be two cat paintings and they're 30 by 30 centimeter square canvas those really cheap ones you can pick up anywhere i'm just going to talk to you how i start the painting and paint one and the whole process really so i hope you enjoy this so to start painting i usually just grab a pencil or anything sorry my hair is in the <laughs> the, the view and things this was done live so I can't control what everything that's happened here. I usually just pick up a pencil and just get out what's in my head. I scribble, I write words, I just get rid of the blank canvas and just just anything. I mean, you just go for it, scribbles, anything. I then like to get a bit of colour on the canvas. Yellow is my favourite colour so normally it's yellow spray paint I go for just to get a bit of colour on there. and just anything it doesn't really matter just slap on anything a bit of paint if you've got it anything your favorite color it's good these things I absolutely love they're they're um, like paint sticks tempara paint sticks they're really cheap they're kids things the colors are fantastic they're bright they draw over everything they last ages and if you varnish them or whatever so it doesn't really matter it doesn't it doesn't fade or anything it just stays like that and I love just making marks with them, painting, being expressive with them, just, I just start doodling. Just doodle, have a doodle. Don't forget to add different colours, this is a lovely neon pink, it's wonderful. It doesn't show up as bright on film, but trust me, it's like in your face pink. More doodles, more words. I seem to be in a spotty, circly sort of type thing and so it help. Maybe maybe it's a subconscious thing. It's weird what comes out when you start just doodling and letting your mind wander. I think I might speed this up a little in places. I'll slow it down, speed it up because you don't want to sit here forever just watching me doodle because I tend to doodle and just put blobs of colour on a canvas for quite a long time and it gets a bit boring I think anyway enjoy Okay, now here comes the acrylic paint. I just squirt it on from the tube. This is um, Sinonelia <laughs> acrylic colours and finger paint. You don't need brush, you've got fingers, use them. Once I've got like all the bright colours going and the colours I love, I love to grab a colour I hate and this is like a 
I don't quite show it. It's a yellow ochre and it's quite a it looks like poo. Yeah, baby poo colour, you know. Um that's just great. It just adds something to your painting. I always do that. I'm like painting and painting and painting and the painting's going really well, then suddenly I go, yeah, let's just put a poo colour on it and it just it's good. <laughs> More yellow, because you can never have too much yellow. You can't have too much yellow. And I'm still finger painting. And to make the yellow pop, you have to add a bit of mauve. Mauve or purple. Purple and yellow, perfect. I'm just using a heat gun to dry everything because I want it to be completely dry. Here I'm using my favourite Starburst, Starburst, it's a Star Wars um, stencil that I made out of a cereal packet and some spray paint just to add a bit, little bit extra and then I'm drying that as well. When it's all dry I get a pencil then I try and pick out a cat shape or an animal shape that I can sort of see in the underpainting, if that makes sense. I just sort of pick it out from the background and then once I see something I just go with it and see what happens. More yellow, more spray paint, more stencils. Here I'm using one of those white tempura paint sticks to give my cat some eyes and now I'm using a pencil and doing some scribbles all over it because it's more doodles. Now I'm going to use a black Posca pen and draw its eyes in and its nose and his mouth and it gives him a little character. <laughs> I use a neo colour to give him a heart because all animals need hearts. scribbles and then some collage and some more spray paint and a bit more of everything.
I then try and make the composition a bit more simpler and I come in with a, another colour that I really like which I think will suit the painting and I paint over and around the cat. I'm coming in with a neo colour and I like to draw around the shape of the cat and just make him pop out from the background a bit more. Sorry my head's in the way on this. Posca pen details, this is a nice pink one when it works. Then I leave it to dry, put it aside, don't look at it for a while. And then I come on to the second canvas. I have added a little bit more onto this one. Uh, I've added some more words, I've added some spray paint and I've actually picked out the cat that I want to paint and then I just go through the same process I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to sit through the whole lot again so it's the same thing I did for the first cat just slightly different whatever tickles my fancy I do
And then just to finish them off, I give them a spray of lovely glossy varnish. they're done thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and also hit the bell notification and you'll be informed when i upload a new video see you soon bye